Okay. Okay. That's a better one. <coughs> so we've got the um, we've got the pump bolted to a tank that would be full of fuel. Yeah. Uh, so you've got battery, and then we've got a uh, pressure gauge, a bypass valve, and we're looking here for the amount of flow. So you're you're pumping fuel into a one gallon container with the stopwatch and um, you've got to obviously so many seconds to, to move a gallon of fuel. Are these self-priming pumps? Yes they are. They yes. are so you can have them uh, above the level of the well, I think, fluid? Yeah I think they're designed though to be below the level of the fluid. Yeah. 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 They, they sort of fit if you like on the bottom of the tank. Yeah. Um, I think, so I think it was in one of your fuel in all the time then. Yeah, I think it was in one of your other videos when they were taking the tank out because they got a fuel leak. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. think I think it would have shown it there on And this is the actual fuel pump here, yes. This is so we've got we've got the impeller here that's driven by this motor and the fuel goes in there and it blows it out in that direction. And these are twelve volt pumps, twenty-four. Are they? Twenty-four. Twenty-four, volt. yeah. Good. And that one's working okay. This one works fine, yes. It's um Why does it take a certain time to build up speed? Because of the inertia, because it's quite quite a heavy armature in there. Oh, and you've yeah. got this carbon thrust bearing as well. Yeah, yeah. So that will take some drag on it, so you've got to overcome the initial the initial friction. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, that's another little gem I've got. Yes. <laughs> Let me just get a photo of you. And this is Sven who gives us all the information. Hello everybody. Thanks Sven. This is Sven's domain. <laughs> so, electrical rewire is what I'm supposed to be here for, is the electrical re yeah. rewiring of the lamp. Yeah. But I, I've been tasked with other things like the fuel pumps and the yeah. instruments and the boost coil which uh, we we'll get back to the electrical oh, rewire. Yeah. The there. reference to the fairy empire, right? Now, in the in the RAF, anyone who has got anything to do with radio, radar, instruments, are called fairies. Yeah. Oh, wow. It has to do with waving your magic wand and things work. <laughs> yeah. Because none of the other trades understand what's going on. Video 24 of year two of the restoration of the Lancaster showed a Canadian built aileron being dismantled. All parts have been checked. Those which are serviceable will be used again. The others, new ones made. At the moment, they are reassembling the main spar. When the aileron is complete, it will be put into a bondage storage, ready for use further down the line when the Lancaster is nearing completion of the restoration. I would think around about seven years.
running on the aeroplane, we need to go your end after the day. Thank you. 